Okay, I'm in Excel and I want to have a look at three functions here. We're going to look at a fourth one as well, integer. We've got round, round up and round down. And these are used, as you might have guessed, rounding numbers that have got decimal places in them, such as these. And you can specify how many decimal places you want. And what we're going to do is round it to the nearest one decimal place, as an example here. So round will round up or down based on conventional rounding. So like if you had 0.5, it would go up. And if it was below 0.5, it would round down. But you, there are times you might want to always round up or always round down. So maybe you're doing some work and you always charge, say, for an hour or part of an hour. So you round that up. Or maybe you're being generous and you're going to round it down. And the other one that you've got here is integer, and we're going to come back to that because I've already got a video for that, and the link for that is below. But just to save you going to look at the other video, I'll do that here as well later. Right, so let's go into formulas here. That's the formulas tab on my ribbon, and it comes under math and trig. So I'm just going to click there. I'm going to scroll down, and you'll see here there is round, round down, and round up. And we're going to start with round. So let's just choose that. Now I'm doing this on Windows, but if you're doing this on a Mac, it's exactly the same, except that this dialog box appears on the right-hand side in the formula builder. So the number that you're interested in is this one here. And as I said, we're going to change this to just one decimal place. And you can choose however many decimal places you want. So I'm just gonna type in one. And you can see it's giving the answer here. You could, if you wanted to, say zero and have no decimal places. Let's just do one. Let's click on OK. I'm now going to use the auto fill to just copy down by just clicking and dragging in the bottom right hand corner. And you'll see it's now rounded them all here. But what if I wanted to always round up? Well, let's just click here. And so I can just go into insert function here on the ribbon, or I could do it in the formula bar. They're both the same. I just click here. It's one of the most recently used ones, so it's just here. But if you didn't know where to look, you could always just type in round. You can press enter or click on go, and they appear here, and there's round up. So let's just choose that. I'm going to click on this number. And I'm going to choose the number of decimal places. I'm just going to choose one. And you can see that this time it's rounding it up to 3.3. .3. So let's just OK that. Let's just drag that down. And as you can see, it's rounded them all up. Let's do the same here again for round down. Let's click here. Let's click on the insert function. I'm going to type in round and press enter. So that's a quick, easy way to find it. I can double click on round down. And the number, again, it's this one and the number of decimal places. We're going to go for one again. Let's click on OK, and I can copy that down. So any of these numbers here, actually, if you were to use that in the calculation, it would use the rounded version as opposed to what it was over here. So just need to bear that in mind if you do that. OK, so we've got integer here. What's the difference? Integer doesn't care about how many decimal places, it just chops off the number of decimal places and it doesn't do rounding. So this one here is 6.713456, just loses that last bit. So let's just do that very quickly. Let's go into insert function. There's integer right there because I happened to use it before. I could type in integer or int. Again, it's under the math and trig one. Click on OK. There's just one number here that you want to enter in and that's this one here. Click on OK, use the auto fill to drag it down, and there you have it, it's gone. So I've got another video that shows you that, but you've seen it here now, so you don't need to go and watch that video, so I've saved you a bit of time. Thanks for watching. If you do like this, please do like, share, and subscribe.